Hello, um, sorry about the buzzing noise, it's just the fan uh, going off. Um, well, as you've seen on the, on the news, I'm going to be very careful what I say, okay, because because a lot of the things that you can say get you. Well, this is what I'm going to go on about. Now, what you've seen on the news about what's happened in Paris with the attacks. Now, in my parents' lifetime, they lived through the IRA. In my lifetime, I've seen the 9-11 attacks, I've seen the 7-7, now I've seen this, and obviously, beginning of the year, I saw the Charlie Hebdo offices being gunned down, and um, now this. Now, what I tend to find at the moment is the world is messed up, and I think terrorist attacks are becoming just so pointless and so and so um how, sorry um so uncalled for and people are then blaming religion for it and then people are starting these stupid little groups like ISIS or Al Qaeda and it's literally these terrorist attacks these wars are going nowhere are going nowhere but it's not just wars I want to talk about. I want to talk about hatred that is being shared at the moment in general. Now, I, I personally believe peace and love if you are born after the year 2000 and you do agree with what I have to say. But people born, youngsters born after 2000, agree with hatred. They are exposed to violence. They are exploited, you know. I mean, I see girls, you know, back when I was their age, I was colouring, colouring books, and um, what are they doing? They're just going, you know, on their phones, and just being overly exploited and wearing these sexually clothes, which I'd never let my daughter wear. And they have no, res and, and, and people of their age have no respect for anyone. And for example, there's this horrible picture shared on Facebook which showed like a cheese grater going down on a slide and it said find me a slide for gingers and I left a comment saying you know um, you know how we should all respect each other as one and some absolute douchebag tells me to fuck off you know um, now I think at the moment this day and age we've got a terrible government you know, who don't seem to care about us, as Michael Jackson would agree. And um, we are not doing as what my idol John Lennon says, giving peace a chance. We are just just going, going along with getting wars done, hating on different groups, hating on people who look different to us. It doesn't... Uh, here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say what I wrote on this speech, because I, as, as you can see, I'm so angry I'm not making myself... not making any sense. Okay, we as the human race do not need ignorance and prejudice, whether black, white, Asian, mixed race, Indian, albino or ginger. We must show respect to everyone. I myself have grown up with abuse for my nationality, disabilities and being slightly red-haired. One day we will respect each other and live together in this world. Do not hate, only the unloved hate. Do not live with a typical Nazi hatred and minds of harming others. And some guy who I'm keeping anonymous told me to fuck off and I said you fuck off sorry I did lose my temper show respect if you don't know how to say nothing and this is what I'm gonna say anyone wants to harm anyone anyone wants to blow anyone up anyone wants to do anything to anyone of any groups don't do it keep it in there alright keep it in there for too many bad things happen in this decade already. No more. I believe one day we will all get on. We will all get on. There will be no need for nuking each other. We we are all on this planet together, people. We don't need to irradiate each other. What point is it going to prove? Nothing. More, more children bleeding to death. You know? Nobody seeing anything. Anything nice, you know? For example, this one photographer went to take a photograph of a little girl in Syria and she put her hands up like that, thinking she was going to get shot. 
And then you've got people like Cody Hopkins and Piers Morgan who just want to wind people up, showing people how to hate. Now I just need to get my drink because I'm starting to get quite, <laughs> quite grumpy here. <laughs> now people, are, people on the internet are just going to share this and think he's just like this cra that crazy ginger bloke who um, went on off a rant about that South Park episode. If so, go on then do it. But I just want to prove my point that this decade from today onwards we should get on okay no more hate no more fear no more violence violent minds violent tendencies nothing no more blowing each other up no more wars nothing we are on this earth whether there's a god or not we are on this earth whether there's an afterlife or not whether there is more to life than this whether anything we stick together, okay? And we're not going to stick each to each. We, we've we've stuck together through wars before, and we still stick together. We, as a nation of British people, stand together. We, as the world, stand together. Whatever happened to those days where we all just stuck together? We stick together, one and all. And um, one day violence will be in the past, everything bad will be in the past we will live on this earth in harmony yeah okay well this is gonna probably be taken down and um, I'm probably gonna get killed in the streets one day for saying this but I, I, I speak I speak the truth okay no more hatred love everyone love one another Give peace a chance.